Women's Outdoor Leadership course is part of Outward Bound's wider diversity journey, um, trying to become an organisation that better reflects the backgrounds and identities of the young people that come on courses. <laughs> it's not just a standalone initiative. It's about much wider organisational understanding and taking action in order to create a more aware workforce like, like all round um, and, and also um, developing great women leaders uh, who want to come and work in our organisation. The course is designed with some really key things in mind. Uh, so, so it, it's centred around three aspect, three really important aspects of leadership. So the uh, intrapersonal understanding, like understanding yourself, who you are, your values, your beliefs, why you lead. Um, it's about interpersonal, so your relationships with others, um, how you relate to people as a leader, how you um, build community in a group, uh, and it's about the technical skills so to work in the outdoors you obviously need a degree of technical competency in the mountains uh, on the rocks and and water activities you know those are the three areas particular to outward bound So I suppose my vision for the course was an, an open-ended question of to lead is with the idea that the women have 10 weeks to explore what that means to them and what that would be in their own processes. Um, they could explore that together as a group but also have individual time to consider and, and learn about what it means to them. Hopefully being able to take everything they've learnt about themselves and go, that's where I was, this is where I am how am I going to get to where I want to be and what am I going to do myself to lead myself to a point to get to where okay, I want to be. On the laser, are you climb, I'm ready. If you think about Outward Bound's history, it's based on military values and was set up to, uh, by men to make men out of boys, you know, in, a, in the context of, a, a, in a military context. And some of those values, you know, still exist today. So I think it can be tri quite a challenging space for women to step into and feel like they can lead as, as their authentic selves. <gasps> I think for me, I think, when I think about leadership, I think about the people, like almost like role models. That's what leadership is to me. I think I'm moving away more and more from, and like this course has definitely sort of um, really clarified that for me, that more and more, it's not that person standing at the front leading, a, like guiding a group and like conquering the mountain kind of style. Yeah. I think leadership to me are those people that, and probably what they've done for me is like left space for me to grow and develop. I, I want to be confident in what I'm doing and feel like I have the knowledge to be able to assert what I need to, but I think for me, leadership, it's more about, I think it's like to be a good leader, you just want to be authentic to mm. yourself and you're not trying to be something you're uncomfortable with and making it, it's, it's sort of finding a way that you can be, I don't know, like true to what you believe in and your values and how you can see the points where you can contribute to other people and collaborate with other people and using those skills you have rather than fitting to this one idea of what leadership is. Yay! Smashed it! What has been really great about particularly our discussions about leadership have been questioning the ideas of leadership and although I've been in circles where that's been done a lot before um, I feel like this is very much relating it to me and how I go forward I think that the course does that very well keeping it centered around our leadership <laughs> what's going on <laughs> I see 
the work that we're, we're doing at Outward Bound is part of something much bigger and part of something that the outdoor sector seems to be becoming more critically aware of uh, over the past couple of years. It's, de it's been a conversation, like diversity in the outdoors has been a conversation for such a long time. <laughs> That in, in one sense, that's a bit challenging because it's like, well, we've talked about it, we've talked about it, we've talked about it. Well, why are there still only 20% of our staff team who are female, you know? Why is it that in the wider sector, within the, some of the qualification pathways, like Summer Mountain Leader, only 18% of Summer Mountain Le Leaders in the UK are female uh, and something like 1% are from minority ethnic background. I've been out around seven years now, yeah. um, but I look back to the female spaces that I was part of through communities at university or through just having living with five of the girls yeah. at university, and it was amazing. It was really special. It was pretty magical. Yeah, um, yeah you, you just it's a bit freeing. Uh, I don't know. I suppose you all know where you're coming from. And everybody's sort of doing it for the same reasons. And I think there's a lot of stuff you then don't feel that you need to just, I don't know, that kind of a lot of stuff is already there that you, it's a common ground. Yeah, it's wow, working. it's doing it already. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Right? That was so quick. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I'm like, am I out of breath? No. It doesn't have to be hard. Because early men make it look hard. So I've worked in the outdoors since I was 16, which is coming on for 10 years actually, which is a bit wacky. Uh -huh. um, and quite often I've been in environments where there's not that many other women. Uh -huh. mm. And so you kind of have it on the back burner that you're representing more of you than are here present. Uh -huh. um, and because a lot of the jobs often are quite physical, there's, there's manual aspects to it. Um, I've had it before where people just kind of take jobs from you because they're yeah, you know, they might be able to carry a canoe on their own, for instance, or something like that. And it then it can leave you feel instead of feeling helped, it can leave you feeling like you weren't able to do it. And therefore, are you even cut out for this job? If it were the case that it happened once in your life, then you might be able to just brush that off as a bad time. But quite often, I think these things happen in really subtle ways mm. a lot of the time. A bit like we were talking about with imposter syndrome mm. like here you don't have that because everybody is it's like so open and everybody's everybody's cheerleader and everybody wants each other to succeed yeah. so that thing of like feeling like you can't you know you can't show those feelings or like show that nervousness or like worry about that incompetency it in this environment you don't have that you're like oh I'm feeling really nervous I don't think I can paddle this rapid or I don't think I can get to the top and there's always somebody that's like Oh, why do you think that you can? Do you want to give it a go? And so you, you're not having to like battle that in your own head. In the outdoors, you, you'll kind of find yourself in a minority in quite a lot of, a lot of spaces. Uh, and it's good to just have something a bit different and explore that in a different way and develop in a different way and see other examples and different examples to what you'd find in... Um, you know, kind of male-only space or a mostly male space. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's different. There's definitely a lot of misconceptions yeah. to it, isn't there? <laughs> that it'd be, and it's always a misconception of that it'll be easier. Uh -huh. I was like, why would that space be easier? I think the bit that stands out for me, like although there is a lot of them, I think it was that um, sort of, yeah, the gendered landscapes, the inspirational talks, and then going into the gendered landscapes conversation the next day, um, and that was a really like shift in my way of thinking. Biggest gain regarding the technical skills side of the course has been the skill share ability between mm. all of them. It's been totally invaluable, really, really lovely place to learn and so much to learn. I have booked my ML assessment, Ooh. finally, Woo! after Woo! two years, three years. Yeah, I don't think I'd be working here 
I don't know where I'd be working, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably not this. I think I would have spent years before I felt at all able to apply. Here you've got that really sort of like wide funnel to experience a lot of other stuff and like with a lot of peer-to-peer -peer teaching that we've been doing is really cool, like mm. Tash in Canoe Week was crucial for me. I don't think I'd have got through that week without her and that's, you know, it's really cool and interesting to see different people's styles and you kind of like, you're like, and I'll have that, thank yeah. you, I'll have that. <laughs> I, de I definitely wouldn't have applied to the National Art Door Centre, no, <laughs> no, no. I w if it wasn't for the women's course, I would never have applied to that. When we did our RCI training last week, it really hit home to me how much I've learned just in the last month like, or in the, like, the space of the course because I was like, I would not be able to do this at the start. Yeah, it's not as far out of reach as I thought it would be. I had in my mind that RCI was just kind of this unreachable thing that I was nowhere near it and I just, it was something that I was just going to have to spend ages to work towards. It's certainly something that I feel that I would have benefited from uh, very early in my career. Even midway through my career, I would have definitely benefited from a course such as this. <laughs> so, like, seeing, I think, what I see in other people's leadership and knowing what I admire and what I would like to take forwards with me has been something really amazing. And I think usually I'm limited to looking at men for that. And there's a lot that I would take, and that's where I've got to, that's what's got me where I am now. But it's just brilliant to see more different people, um, all of which who I can relate to. And I think that's something that's really is important, is seeing people I relate to as leaders and going, I either like, I want to take that forwards, I want to be like that, or that's what I'm like, maybe, maybe I can do this.